So what up YouTube? Welcome back to Ambitions Vapor. Today I got a review for you on two different single coil RTAs. It's gonna be on the Mage GTA RTA by Coil Art. It's gonna be on the Cthulhu Mods MTL RTA. Let's take a look at them. So these were sent to me from, this was sent to me from Coral Art for the purpose of this review, and this was sent to me from Cthulhu Mods for the purpose of this review. It's not going to change my opinion of either of these RTAs, okay? They're both single coil RTAs, both 24 millimeters in diameter, both different in their own ways, okay? They're both single coils, they both have like uh, bottom airflow. I thought it'd be a good review to compare both of them. They're both single coils and they're both pretty short. So what we're gonna do in this review, guys, we're gonna dive down, I'm gonna show you them, I'm gonna put a build in the Coil Arts Mage GTA, show you the, everything on the MTL, I'm gonna wick this one up and show you how I wicked this and give you all the specifications and then we're gonna jump back up. We're gonna vape on and talk on them, pros and cons. Compare them neck and neck, let you know which one's better in which department, flavor, vape production, building, let you know the cons, final thoughts and how much they are and where to find them, all that good stuff. So sit back, relax, grab a vape, let's dive down. I'll see you guys in a minute. First, we're gonna look at the uh, Mage GTA first. This is the box that it comes in. Okay, 24 millimeter, 3.5 mLs of e-liquid. Standard configuration. Now, I don't know what's up with all this, but um, you can get stainless steel or black, all right? And to tell the difference, they'll have the different colors on the Packaging. All right, so I have the stainless steel and the black to show you. You're gonna open it up. It's gonna say Coil Art on it. Okay. You can find Coil Art at all of these different locations. Open it up. You get your RTA. You will get additional O-rings, red and blue. Grub screws. You get a additional glass with a Coil Art uh, thing to put on the. Um, glass when you have it installed. Additional glass piece. You also get this nice uh, screwdriver. They don't give you a blue one, they give you that nice black one. Definitely better. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It says Coil Art. It's a single coil RTA, okay? So it's got just like the Mage RTA. Whatever you do to that side, it will do it to all three. Nice chuff top. Very nice looking RTA, man. Um, 10.5 by 1.5 millimeter air hole slots. It does say mage right there. Okay. If you look at the bottom, it says mage, designed by Colart. All right, it has a nice uh, protruding 510 pin. Probably gonna have to use like a flathead, but it's got like a plus. I haven't seen that before, like you can use it. You know, it's good so you, if in case you don't catch it, you'll catch the other one. Good threads. 11 millimeter wide board downward drip tip. The very inside of that is um, 5.8 millimeters, and then it tapers up to about 10. It is a 24 millimeter RTA and it is from the bottom to the drip tip it is 44.7 millimeters. Okay. Gold plated 510. And it's made out of 3 4 stainless steel. You've got the Dowering drip tip that you can unscrew. Okay. And then you can fill it that way. Nice fill ports. Alright, no issues with that. Nice drip tip. Unthreads. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. 
nice conical design, nice threads. Okay, you can um, take off the glass, right? You can put the blue one on. I'm gonna put that one on now. Looks kinda nice, looks kinda nice with the blue. Here's the deck. Single coil option, very nice. Gold plated, 24 karat gold. That's the airflow, that's where the wicks go down. All right, good threads. And then the wicks go down to the bottom. So we're gonna put a build in it, frame stapled, A and 80. So you wanna get the coil like that. beginning of my songs light up mr. DL pounds I got a rep as a monster I conquer half my rosters mobsters your whole squad is imposters claim that your pop guns with love when the cops come that's when my team run steam on break a perp with my green thumb Police lurk where we from Put in work, no help, I don't need none No wealth to the deeds done Bad health smoke like I got three lungs Fuck haters, guess what, us made it Bad grammar, man I must be frustrated Mad hammers, but they don't bust Nathan No cocaine through the bus station, just faking It's my time, son I did enough waiting King be a hundred mad, man we rush stages Ain't no joke where I'm from Gotta get dope, can't roll without none For C no get robbed and out come the hammer And you don't understand it, but everybody know what it is Cause everybody know, everywhere I go I keep a little chrome right on me I gotta get my dough, then I gotta smoke my Here's the stainless steel version. It's nice as well, you know. It's just all stainless steel. I like the black one. So here's Cthulhu Mods package that it comes in. All right. Single coil as well. 3 ml, 24 millimeters in diameter. Three air hole components. You get four different ones, 1.2, 1.6, and a three millimeter, which is wide open. Open it up, you get a blue screwdriver, O-ring, scrub screws, you get additional airflow configurations to make it more restrictive or more airy. Black drip tip, Delrin, additional glass piece, and you get the ITA, all right? So it's the black version, it's got the Cthulhu logo on the chimney, it's got a red drip tip as well. It says Cthulhu MTL ITA peak insulator. All right, it's protruding. Okay, you can open it up from the top. Nice and big, very restrictive on the chimney. Okay, there's the top. Very nice. Pop off the drip tip, the red one. All right, I like the black with the red, you know. Pop that back in. Very restrictive, as you can see. It's a 4.3 in diameter on that one that's a chimney all right you can thread it off so that's that piece orange o-ring very thin chimney conical design here's the deck it's just two grub screws single coil you drop your cotton in there peak insulator I got a James Mucklin build in there your cotton goes in there It's pretty simplistic. You can wrap your leads around those things. Okay, and then cut it on this end so it doesn't get stuck. Or you can just cut it like that. I would recommend to bring it through here though. Do this slit so you can cut it on this end and it doesn't get in the way of the chimney when you tighten it down. A nice channel for your cotton. Okay. Pretty simplistic, man. You have the different screws that you can put in there um, under the coil is airflow directly into the coil That you can make it more restrictive, but I like it wide open. It's good airflow. It's a little restrictive wide open So I'm gonna wick this up and that's how you wick it. You just I mean you just stuff it down in there with your Your screwdriver really easy to wick man, and then it you want it just seeing through these holes That's how it's gonna look put it back together, and I'll see you guys up top and we're gonna compare these two neck and neck and see I'm gonna let you know which one I like better for what and uh, all the good stuff final thoughts I'll see you guys in a minute so we're back from the close-up guys 
on the two different single coil RTAs, baby. All right, I'm gonna go over the Cthulhu mods MTL first. All right, what do I like about it? What I don't like about it? Well, it's a very restrictive uh, RTA. All right, it's a small single coil RTA. It gives you four different uh, airflow configurations. In the bottom airflow, you can screw in different. Um, you can screw in different. Uh, Pieces like on the uh, what was that bigger RTA they made the Cthulhu version 3 it has those on this one All right, so that's nice But if you want to adjust the airflow, you know on the go forget about it You kind of have to set it where you want it and then kind of forget about it. Okay? Um, I have there's slits on the deck where you can put the lead through and bring it over to the side so when you cut your leads you don't have to worry about the metal touching the inside of the chimney portion and getting shorted out all right so i think that's a really nice touch that they did it's a very small it's it's built well the threads are nice the o-rings are nice the glass is nice comes two different drip tips that's nice peak insulator that's nice um building on it is pretty easy wicking it is pretty easy um nothing wrong with it okay uh, conical design inside of the chimney. You guys know I love my conical designs. Plenty of conical design inside of the chimney. That's nice. The chimney is really, really uh, a small diameter. It's really restrictive. It comes with two different drip tips. The drip tip's pretty restrictive as well. I mean, that's pretty uh, small, okay? So I got on the Arctic Dolphin Adonis Max, uh, single 26650. Comes with two different drip tip options, all right? Um, I have it in the Adonis Max stabilized wood 100 watt single 26 650. This thing is a beauty. I got to review it. Um, it's really nice. I have it at uh, 65 watts. All right, it's a 0 .39, 0 .4 ohm build. Some of my own beautiful Big Debbie oatmeal cream pie e liquid. Having a big deal on my website this weekend, guys, for Thanksgiving, man. Uh, it's it's uh, Black Friday 30, 30% 30 off. Really good flavor, really good vape production. I got a single James Mucklin Alien Clapton in here. I don't really get leaking issues on this, okay? It doesn't run through e-liquid e a lot. I don't get dry hits. I don't get spit back. It is a little restrictive, wide open, it's nice for a single coil though. It's got some pretty good flavor as well. It's not bad, dude. I really like it for a single coil. I don't like how it has the four different uh, uh, airflow configurations that you got to do. To you know, you got to take one out, put one in, take one out, put one in. You know, you can adjust the airflow on the bottom if you want to. You know what I mean? But if you want to do it that way as well, you can. So uh, th th there's plenty of options on it. Threads are good. O-rings are good. Um, no issues with it. All right, that's working pretty well. Now the Mage GTA RTA, this thing, man, whew. I got a nice build in it. You can get some pretty intricate, big, fat coil builds in this bad boy. I'm really, really enjoying this one. Um, I got it as a 0.11, 100 watts on the Boss 3000, DNA 250, vaporized nomads. If you haven't got one of these, man, you need to go pick one up. And I got some um, uh, Mega Shakes in this one. It's a vape. Really liking this one. This one's really unique. It's a really unique RTA. The deck is raised above the bottom, okay? It's a little bit odd, but it does it. What it's doing, the reason why the deck is above the bottom of the RTA is it's closer to your mouth, number one. That's a pro. The, the, the chuff top. Love the chuff top, guys. Very nice chuff top. It's easy to unscrew it. Okay. Nice filling ports. Easy to vape away, man. 24 karat gold plated deck. Pro. Plenty of room to build on this. Pro airflow on this. It's got three different 10 millimeters by 1.5 millimeter air slots on the bottom. That's a pro. 
Conical design inside of the chimney, that's a pro. Additional glass, plenty of grub screws, plenty of O-rings, that's a pro. There's a con to this. The only con I have with this one is the, well, there's two cons. Con number one is the grub screws that they use in here. It's a Phillips style grub screw. The screwdriver that comes with it is, it's very hard to get torque on it to really tighten your leads. I've noticed that. There's plenty of room. The post holes on this thing are just fucking huge. You can get any type of build you want in there. You have to put your leads one that way, one that way, and put it in, and then raise it up a little bit. Very easy, not a big deal. Easy to build, easy to wick. Both of these are easy to build and wick on. But on that one, it's easier to tighten down and get torque on your leads. On this one, it's a little bit more difficult. That's one of the cons I've had with it. Uh, you you, you want to use a bigger screwdriver to get more torque. Depending on the build that you put in there, you know, if you put like a 24 gauge alien, stuff like that, you're going to need more torque. It's tough to get torque on the, on the grub screws on this. I wish it was an Allen key. If it was an Allen key, it'd be a lot easier to get torque on it. They went that way. Not a big deal. It can be overlooked. You can use another screwdriver and you're good to go. The other con I have with it is it does have a tough time to get the initial liquid down because of the chimney. Between the chimney and the glass, there's not enough room in there. It doesn't just seep down. It kind of has a little bit of a tricky time to get down there and, and, and wick. It's just something I want to mention. If you hear any uh, sound in the background, it's the cat in the fucking litter box, okay? Cat likes to take a shit while I'm doing reviews, but uh, like the threads on the, on the chuff top. I love the chuff top. I love the drawer on this, wide open. Good threads, good O-rings, good size. It holds 3.5 mLs of e-liquid. This one, these hold the same amount of e-liquid, okay? Uh, comes in black and stainless steel. The black version is nice. The stainless steel is just, it's nice, but I like the black one. Comes with different color O-rings. Both 24 millimeters in diameter. Um, it does go through e-liquid pr uh, pretty substantial amount because of the build that I have in it. Now let me get down to the nitty gritty, guys. Flavor on this is superb. It's gonna depend on the build that you have in it. Build that I put in it, frame stapled, A and 80 wire from my boy uh, that sent them to me off of Instagram. I'll put a link in the description. He makes pretty decent, nice coils. Um, the flavor I'm getting off this is A++. For a single coil, I need to mention, because it's a single coil, it, substantial flavor on this for a single coil. I mean, I get, I'm 100% satisfied with this single coil Mage GTA. I think they did a phenomenal job on this. Just a phenomenal job on it. It looks beautiful. I like how the deck is raised. You get, a, I, I think you would get a little bit more e-liquid in there. In the mouth, the coil is closer to your mouth. Very easy to fill, very easy to build, very easy to wick. Um, I like the size of it. I think it just looks beautiful, okay? This one's better for higher resistance builds, okay? This thing's got good flavor as well, but I think this has got a little bit better flavor. It's also because I have a bigger, more substantial coil in this one than this one, okay? You need to take that into consideration as well, all right? Um, I, I think the overall looks, for me, this one. This one's got a thinner chimney, a little bit more restrictive, a little bit smaller. It does a good job. Um, I think Coil Art is just doing a really fantastic job on their uh, products lately. I like how the airflow configuration is on this one. The draw, for me personally, I like the draw on this just out of the box. If you want to tinker around with different airflow configurations, this one might be the way to go because you have different screwed airflow things that makes the pipe thinner. You can, you can get mouth to lung on this. This can do straight lung or mouth to lung. This one, uh, I mean, you could possibly, you could get mouth to lung on this one as well. Clouds for days, man. I, I like both of them, but if I had to choose one, I would go with the Mage GTA for my vaping needs. Higher resistance, you're definitely gonna be happy with the Cthulhu MTL. There's nothing wrong with it, all right? Mage GTA is going for $34.99 right now, okay? You can find this one at, uh, well, coilart.net or .com, with a link on screen and description, that's what it's sent from, that's where you can find it. I'll also have a link to vapadna.com. They have it on their website. It's $34.99 right now, okay? I'll have the direct link in the description. I do get a 5% commission off that link. Um, 
it'll take you straight there uh, just to help support my channel full transparency on this channel I do not hide anything from you guys you can also find the Cthulhu Mods MTL RTA at CthulhuMods.com link on screen and description that's what it's sent from that's you can find that one that's the only place I found this one this one's going for $31.99 they're roughly around the same price point as well you know they're roughly around the same price point this one might be a few dollars more than this one um, I think it's worth it man I really I think this is my favorite single coil RTA to date most definitely I, I switched it up a little bit today doing the review in my living room make it a little bit different you know if this is probably after Thanksgiving I hope you had a good Thanksgiving I got the stainless steel one to give away okay I just feel like it's necessary um, I don't need to so I'm gonna give this one away to be entered into this giveaway, you gotta be subscribed, number one. Comment, leave a like, share the video, whatever. Comment down below, um, hashtag, hashtag down below Mage GTA, okay, in the comments. And follow me on my Facebook page. It's in the description, the link's in the description. Um, just follow me on that page. We have a community that I go over stuff prior to doing reviews. Really good community going. It's getting bigger and bigger by the day. And um, I'd, I'd be more than happy to have you guys over there as part of the squad. And I will announce the winners of this. I'll respond to the winner in the comments of this video. And I will also tell who the winner is on that Facebook group as well. Okay, so really simple. Be subscribed. Comment down below, Mage GTA. Um, like the video, okay? And follow me on my Facebook. You have to pay for shipping, okay? It's $6.80. Anywhere within the U.S. If it's outside of the U.S., it's gonna cost a lot more. It's now it's up to like I don't know 25, 30 bucks, something like that. Yeah, it's getting a little crazy for international. So I'm sorry about that, but I don't make the rules. You know, that's what I got for you today, squad. I hope you found the video helpful or informative. If you did, you know what to do. Content daily, 1080p, 60 frames. Don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel. Stay juiced up, guys. I hope you have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. All right? I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.